friends, it's Miss Kathleen. Today we are going to read Curious George and the Ice Cream Surprise. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One hot afternoon he heard jingle jingle, jingle jingle. What could that music be? George was curious about the melody he heard coming in through the window. That's an ice cream truck, George said the man with the yellow hat. You know summertime is here when you start hearing the music of the ice cream truck. George loved trucks, and he loved ice cream. Ice cream would taste so good on a hot day like today, he would find this wonderful ice cream truck right away. He started to climb out the window, but his friend stopped him. George had to finish his lunch first. Is that the rule with your mommy and daddy? You have to eat your lunch first? By the time George rushed out the door, the music was gone. Don't worry, George, said the man. The ice cream truck makes a trip around the town each day, all summer long. We'll catch the ice cream truck tomorrow. Do you ever miss the ice cream truck? The next day, it got hotter and hotter. George waited for the ice cream truck, but there was no sight or sound of it. Let's go to the pool, George, said the man with the yellow hat. George ran to get his towel. Splashing around the pool would be great would be a great way to beat the heat. But the pool was closed for renovation. Look on the bright side, George. By autumn, we'll have a larger pool with three diving boards. Won't that be fun? It did sound fun, but George needed to cool off now. Not in autumn. That's sad. So George went back to the back to waiting for the ice cream truck. He dreamed of vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry ice cream bars. George thought he heard the music of the ice cream truck once, but it was just a little boy's harmonica. George and his neighbors decided to go to the park to run through sprinklers. But just as they arrived, the sprinklers turned off. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. It was a long walk back home. Luckily for George, there was lemonade waiting for him on the porch. George took a drink and made a face. It was warm. Sorry, George, the man with the yellow hat said. Our freezer has decided to stop working. All our ice cubes have melted. Now would be the perfect time to hear the sweet sound of the ice cream truck. Wait, what was that? Was that it? <gasps> yes, there was a truck coming around the corner now. Wave it down, George. I'll be right back with my wallet. The man rushed back into the house, but the ice cream truck could not see the little monkey on the curb. The truck was not driving very quickly, but it was driving away. George looked back at the house. He looked at the truck. Then he had an idea. George climbed a tree and swung from a branch, branch to branch until he swung right onto the roof of the truck. He rode the truck into town. The truck stopped beside the town park. A window on the side opened up and a small child and her mother stopped to buy ice cream. George could not believe his eyes. The little girl had ordered a frozen treat that looked exactly like a chocolate covered banana. George danced happily. He knew exactly what to order. The little girl saw him and laughed. So many people wanted ice cream that the driver ran out of change. He hurried over to the nearby bank to get more. Meanwhile, George noticed that the ice cream line was getting very long. Everyone looked hot. There was no shade to stand in. Maybe he could help. George jumped down into the truck where it was dark and cool. He grabbed as many ice cream bars, cones, and ice cream pops as he could. He handed them out to the waiting children, their parents, and even their pets. Do you think that's a good idea? Silly monkey. George worked so quickly he didn't remember to catch money for collect money for the ice cream. No one seemed to mind, except the ice cream man. What have you done? He cried when he returned. Half my ice cream's gone. George climbed up a telephone pole. George was very glad to see his friend hurrying toward the park. Hold on a minute, said a voice below. Look at how everyone is enjoying themselves. It's been the hottest summer in town history. An ice cream social is exactly what we need. It was the mayor, and she offered to pay for everyone's ice cream. Thank you, George, for your great idea. I think the town should sponsor an ice cream party every summer. 
The ice cream truck driver was happy to keep serving ice cream. George and the man with the yellow hat helped. The ice cream man saved one last treat for George, a chocolate covered banana sickle. Delicious. The end. I hope everyone enjoyed my story about that curious George. And I hope everyone has a great day. Bye for now.